All right, so the boys season four premiered on June 13th, and I thought it had a weaker premiere compared to the first three seasons, mainly due to some like character decisions or inconsistencies or like introductions as well, in my opinion. And I'll list my thoughts out episode by episode. And then this video is obviously more directed to the first three episodes, not the ones after, because they definitely got better. Um, so starting with the positives, I love that the opening jumps straight into the action. And then it introduces like a problem for the boys to solve as a group. And their task is to infiltrate um, Victoria Newman's room at this event to kill her, to plant like this drug or whatever to kill her. And obviously that does not go according to plan and it gets horribly foiled. And then uh, once they're in Victoria's room, Kimiko has to fight Vicky's daughter, Zoe, who now has mouth tentacle powers, which is like an ugly sight to see. But uh, definitely like terrific parenting skills from Victoria Newman for sure. And then they have this like really cool scene where they have to jump out of the window, her, Kimiko and Frenchie, and then Starlight flies for the first time to catch them. So I thought that was like pretty cool uh, started to the season. And then now as for Starlight, I like that she can fly, I guess, but they really need to rework or like rewrite her scenes that showcase her powers to better complement her powers instead of just turning it into a joke, in my opinion. Because it's almost like a running gag now that whenever she does the eye, like the, the flicker thing in her eyes, it's basically just a, a sign that she's trying to intimidate someone, but it doesn't come off that way. It basically just means that she's not going to do anything to whoever she's trying to intimidate. And um, she's done it several times, like in the past seasons and in this season too, like even past episode three. So they definitely need to like, because right now she's a joke and then she's coming off as like a useless character because all she does is do that thing with her, her powers. Like her powers are kind of useless, basically. And then she tries to intimidate someone with her powers, but she never does anything. So she's just kind of there. So I think they definitely need to rework that because it's just, it's the same thing over and over again. And then um, Butcher tries to get like Ryan to escape with him, but then um, Homelander shows up and it doesn't go according to plan as well. But now Ryan learns that Butcher has like six months left to live. Like later towards the end of the episode, I think uh, Homelander recruits Sister Sage, the smartest soup alive on Earth, um, to inside a riot between the Starlighters and then the Homelanders um, that ruined the Starlighters' reputation by killing like three Homelanders, including Todd from last season. Now, I don't like the character Todd, I didn't like him, but um, that was a brutal death scene. And Black Noir can also talk now, the new Black Noir, which is pretty interesting and funny to see. He's, he's more of a comedic character, I can tell. But uh, I am curious to see like their arc that they put him through because I don't know I don't want him to just be sidelined again, uh, especially after they killed the the old version of him as well. So I'm wondering how they're gonna use him in this season, the next one as well. And now in episode two, um, I think episode two was definitely like the worst out of the three episodes, and then if not the whole show as well because like some character decisions in my opinion didn't make sense. Uh, the boys find Sage, Sister Sage, like Marvin, Marvin's milk. Uh, tap Sister Sage phone, and then they find out this event that she's going to to meet up with Firecracker, this new character. And so they find Sage's identity and then see what she's going to do at this event. And then she goes there to recruit Firecracker. And they plan to spy on her to see what she's trying to do at the event. And she knows she's being watched as well. So the whole thing is basically a setup to expose them. Uh, and then Sister Sage asks Firecracker and her friend who can duplicate himself to kill the boys. Excuse me. And then a fight breaks out between all of them. And so it's basically Firecracker, her friend who can duplicate himself versus the boys. And as for the guy who can duplicate himself, I don't expect him to have like like smarts or, or fighting skills or whatever. So I'm going to let that slide about how he lost and got distracted throughout the fight. But uh, for Firecracker herself, they basically let her escape after fighting, after killing the guy that, that can duplicate himself. And they just let her run off. And I didn't really get that because... That whole thing was kind of for nothing and they just they basically got exposed by sister sage and to their knowledge they didn't know what sister sage had to do with firecracker so it definitely would have been beneficial to not have firecracker run off especially since she can like it can definitely come back to foil the boys plans as well now that she can run off so it would have been better to probably capture her or interrogate her but they just let her run off and i thought that was kind of weird and then um Especially since they don't know 100% what Sage has to do with Firecracker. They could have captured her, like I said, or interrogated her, or, or anything else really, versus letting her go, which I didn't really find. It didn't really sit well with me. And then, um, anyway, so E-Train gives Starlight 
and here we footage of the riot members like their deaths being um used as an instrument to like start the riot basically uh because he's on his redemption arc now basically and uh, i'm totally fine with that i just hope he doesn't really die at the end of the season because that would just be kind of tough like he's finally in his redemption arc and then he gets the he gets the bucket but that definitely seems what may happen in this season or the next one and then now for episode three butcher and his friend joe kessler um who i'm not even sure is real uh come up with a plan to drudge ryan to give him to grace mallory and but butcher later changes his mind because he's finally getting through to ryan without having to use like actual force so he changes his mind about dragging ryan and uh, A-Train becomes a spy for M.M. And now in this episode, Frenchie hallucinates, like, while he's on a mission with Kimiko, um, stopping, like, this this group of human traffickers, Frenchie starts to hallucinate this new character's Colin's family and their death. Uh, basically, I guess he had something to do with the death of Colin's family, who was now dating. And this is another negative of the premiere that I didn't really like. No, it's not about Frenchie's sexuality or whatever, uh, in fact, I think it was actually hinted at that he might be bi. So I don't even have, I don't even care about that. I don't have a problem with that. But it's more so the characters are just really new. And it, it felt really shoved in because they didn't really know what to do with Frenchie. And they just did the same thing again that they had already done in previous seasons, which is having the past of Frenchie come back to haunt him. And they do that with this new character, Tolan, but we don't know Tolan. And I think it feels like I should care about Tolan, but I don't because I don't know the character. And they could have done about it a different way, in my opinion. Like, they could have built up to it or introduced them in towards the end of Season 3 if they had this plan or built up to it later on in Season 4. But they just kind of, like, push him into the story at the start. And I just don't really care about Colin. So I was I was just very detached from Frenchie's uh, arc at the start there. And then, so yeah, basically, those are about the scenes that made me like or hate the new season so far. And uh, I'll be coming out with a video on my thoughts about Joe Kessler or, or on if he's real or not. Um, but yeah, so leave a comment down below what you thought about the season um, and this video. And then, yeah, peace.